Hello YouTube World Marker Assassin here. Um, if you haven't subscribed already to this video, please do so down below in that bell button. And today we're gonna be talking about Google extensions. You know how they can help you with editing, whatever you're trying to do, what you're trying to edit a video, you're a YouTuber, you're um, a blogger, a website maker, um, a writer, a book writer, um, um anything that I sort if you're a video editor, you know, anything. You know, a web developer. So um I just wanna um Go through a list of develop um some of these um extensions I used to have that I don't have anymore, but I'm gonna go over some of my personal favorites that I used to have because uh when I did have all they were overrunning my 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 um my browser my my bar it was too many that I uh downloaded so I had to um you know take some out you know I just wanted to use the one I really really needed because I was so into this um designing I was so into designing and um editing the um the browsers and websites and things like that I like the look and stuff so I just I used to do all that stuff you know I used to have block ads and all that stuff so I had all I still have the ad blocker up there I need that but I used to have a whole bunch of um, things and extensions added to my um, my bar so I took some off though but I'm gonna be going over just a few I'm not gonna be going over all of them of course I'm not gonna do that it'll take forever I'm just gonna be going over my personal favorites so if you scroll down um screenshot I used to use uh, this one a lot this one is like a uh, like a I think this one like a newer version or something like that though but I used to use this one a lot I used to take many screenshots with this tool you know massive screenshots I used to, I love this tool I I don't have any more though but it has over it currently has over 2 million almost 3 2.5 million users so um this is, app is uh, currently being used by a lot of people but I, I don't use this anymore um I can just um if for people who don't know how to make you know use the keys to um do a quick screenshot this is for you you can just add this on your extension if you want to screenshot it take some a picture of some that you like you know screenshot it and edit it whatever you're trying to do so for you um editors for all you editors and um picture makers out there or whatever another screenshot out here I love the uh, screenshot um, extensions. They're they're one of my personal favorites because uh, you can just if you like something you just capture it. You know, just especially in screenshots is like a, a good way to get around. You know, like you know, especially if say if you were if you were making like a logo or some a logo of something, right? And it costs money. You can simply just screenshot that logo and edit it, and then you can just have it for free. <laughs> And I used to use um excuse me I, I used to use um screenshots to do that to get around you know because like logos and stuff like that you know if you want like an actual like you know quality logo for whatever you like a brand or your website or whatever you're doing you would have to like you know buy one and if you try to do the free way the the way the, um the logos wouldn't really look all that great so I used to use screenshots a lot to uh capture the logo and edit all that extra stuff out and it'd be amazing so that's a awesome way I got around um paying for logos that I did not want to pay for so uh free way is always the best way right um I don't know what's this one is what's this one I've never seen this one What is this? Speed dial. So I guess these are. Oh, this is awesome. That's very awesome. So you know, if you if your um browser doesn't have like a that a uh, home page where it gives you that quick access to you know your the the most social medias you use the web the uh, web pages you use. This is an awesome tool you can apply to your browser where you can get instant access. So if you want to fear you fear your YouTuber or someone who likes to go on YouTube a lot. You can easily just shortcuts, like I said, shortcuts. You can easily just click for me the one, and you go straight there. So this is like one of those those extensions that allow you to do that. Um, another one is a uh, Grammarly. Grammarly is one of my favorites. I already have that applied to my browser. I'm gonna click that real quick. We're gonna go back to this Gram. Um, <sighs> Must have started wrong. Grammarly. Oh, let's type in grammar. It's supposed to be called Grammarly. Hmm. Yeah, so I spelled it wrong. <laughs> We're gonna go this one. Yeah, so this one right here, I love this tool right here. Awesome. This is an awesome tool. I've been using this for a while for like when I'm making blogs and writing and stuff like that. 
this also helps me with you know um, correcting my um, if I misspell because I usually do misspell a lot as you just saw right there I, I do I do misspell a lot of words so uh, this is a, this is an awesome app tool that I use you know I recommend you guys definitely get this this is awesome for me you know Grammarly is amazing too I've been I mean I never misspell a word with this you know I actually always misspell words but like I always make perfect and good blocks with this because uh, everything every spell checks be all right it be straight and they also tell you like if you if you have a run on sentence if you have uh, if you shouldn't have a paragraph and things like that if you should if you're a period if you're missing it gives you all that stuff right here so uh, I love this tool it's a lot of um, features on this tool I recommend I recommend you guys get that and we're gonna go back yep misspelled so another tool I like to use that I don't have anymore um, let me see I saw it earlier where is it Hmm. How you guys doing today? I hope you're doing it. I'm having a nice day today. Um, I'm having a great day. Um, my safe app. What's this one? I haven't used this one. Safe app. I guess it's like a. Is it like a? Is this um, an app blocker? An ad blocker? What's that? Uh, I just got. Hmm. Never seen this one. But we're gonna go. We're gonna keep going. That's not um, another one of my favorites. Is where was it? It was just here. We'll keep going down, guys. We'll find it. Look at all these amazing tools on here. These are for you guys. Get into Google Chrome extensions. They are awesome. If you can't really, if you're having a hard time finding things on the Google search engine and you need quick access, you need to find things now, these are these are the tools right here for you guys. These are awesome tools. There's one tool that I used where you can actually shorten a link. Instead of going to Google Chrome and having to type, you know, go having the time to go to Google Chrome and, and going through all that, you know, you can you can get it fast, you know, instead of doing all that, trying to search it up, you can just get it as an extension. You can automatically get a link uh, shortener without having to look it up. It was called what was it? Where was it? Hmm. Maybe I went down too far. Probably that possibly could be the reason. They have a lot of stuff on here, guys. Here it is. So you know, shorten your link. You can customize your link, shorten it. They can you do all these. I use this tool. A lot of people use this tool. You know. Currently has over 400,000 users though, but I think it's mainly the reason why it doesn't have more is mainly because people usually look up this, you know, look up, um, go on Google, type in Google, you know, and then type in uh, link shortener. You know, there's two things you got to do, right? And all you got to do is simply just go to your, um, this right here, your extension, and then type, put your link in there, shorten it without having, having to go through all that stuff, right? So there's a lot of things you have to, you know do if you're trying to find the shortening but these extensions are like shortcuts so that's awesome though so that's probably why it just it has like so many low users it's a lot of users but it should have like millions of users because a lot of people I see a lot of people use this this um app including me I use this a lot to shorten my links so if you don't like long links guys you can definitely use this to shorten your link Pixar today Pixlr, like this is like a, a um, I'm pretty sure it's like yeah, a picture, like a like a Photoshop type of a thing, a vibe or something like that where you can actually edit photos. So I'll make another video um, down the road to um, uh, another free tool I use to uh, edit my photos and stuff like that. Um, is this expected fresh image each time you open a new feature? Hmm. I guess this is not. I don't think this is actually like a. Uh, I don't think this is a um an editor, a photo. I think this is just like something you can apply to your browser to make it look nice. Yeah, that's basically what that is. Just an add-on. So um, that's definitely not it though. There was one more I wanted to show you guys. That was one of my one of my personal favorites. Another one of my personal favorites that I want to show you guys, but I'm trying to find it. So many apps on here. I'm just gonna click it. Give me a sec, guys. 
Here it is guys. Um another one I like to use, they have many translators on here, but the one I actually like is this one right here because it has a uh, like a long, long list of uh, different things, different um uh languages on here you can um use. For example, I'll show you. So I have applied this to my browsers right here, and uh, we're gonna go to right here. And uh basically here's the uh here here's this one here. Hold on one second. All this mumbo jumbo. Um, hmm, something. Oh, okay. I don't know what I did wrong. This isn't it. This isn't it. Um, this is it though. But this is like this isn't the um the tool. Uh, here's what I. This is the tool though. But I'll show you like how this is. No, I'm not supposed. To, I don't want to show you this. Here's what I want to show you. The example of how you can actually do it. So you see how like um this is, I'm just using an example. You can see different people's uh. Sp talking in uh, Spanish in different languages, uh, texting in different languages. So if you can't understand them, you know, you may have a comment or something like that. You can always let me see. Let me let's find one right here. Let's translate that, and I'll translate the whole page. Very good, you know. Isn't that awesome? You can translate the whole page, so no more Spanish. And then you convert it to. Back to Spanish, and then you might get uh, Spanish again. Let's translate that. Oh, I guess it's not Spanish. I guess it's like a name or something. So No, that's that's it. That's that's Spanish, isn't it? Hmm. Guess no, guess no. This one is definitely Spanish. That is definitely Spanish. Just translate that. You don't like I said. You don't have to like like you know highlight and just say, all you gotta do is just you know do you know and just click that. If you want the same, you just convert it. You know. So the thing about this is you want to download this. Uh, you want to get this extension because most um uh people um don't who uses Google Chrome won't even have this feature applied to it. Uh they should all already already have this feature applied to the um the uh the browser but they don't most of them don't so like this is useful so if you if you don't have that uh, automatically applied to your browser so you just can't so when you go to like a next page or something it's like speaking like German or French or Spanish or whatever. Yeah you know, or you know you can easy it, you can easily just uh get that extension right here you can actually just translate the whole page you push you know translate the page you can just push it and it's already added to your um your um your your google your browser so uh, this is very important this is an awesome tool to use especially if you don't know other languages things like that but uh, most people don't even have this feature on there so that's why you need to add the extension you know some people's computers come with this. Some people's uh, laptops or computers don't come with it. So it's very useful to have. So right click and then you, once you uh, get that, you can apply this. You just translate it to English, and this is what any web page you're you're um, on. You can auto automatically just translate just and then translate. But there's no um, Spanish on here, of course. So so um, very simple. This is one of my favorite tools. I love this tool because I can, you know, if somebody say if somebody left a comment on one of my videos, right? And I don't mind this in Spanish, you know. Just simply, I could just simply um, rearrange it, translate it, and then I'll see what they say. They might say some good, like, "Oh man, nice video, I love you, man." Blah blah blah. This and that, cool, cool, cool. And you know, I, you know, I give them a like, a thumbs up, and I say thank you. And then uh, if you want to read something, an article or something that's in Spanish and German, it might have some German words in there. You want to understand what it's saying, what it means. Like I said, just quickly, you know, quick tool. So awesome tool to have five star tool I love this tool if you guys like this video leave a like down below Google Chrome uh, extensions review so subscribe to this channel I have more useful content for you guys so I hope you love this video leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later in another video peace